It is way too early for this. Oh my god. I need my coffee. Okay. I'm going go back to bed. I'm done. I'm done. Go back to bed. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching and I hope you all subscribe. Normally I don't look this gross, but you know, we're doing to get ready with me today. So yeah, hopefully this will look cuter soon. Anyway, um, yeah, like I said, I'm doing a get ready with me a life update video. I haven't done a life update video since, um, since Jeffrey was in tech school. So it's going to be a little new for me because like I haven't done this in a long time okay so I don't want to make this a like makeup tutorial but I will list everything that I use in my video down below in case I want to check like some of this makeup out I just want to kind of let y'all know what's going on with me so yeah I want to do a Q&A video like so bad because I want y'all to know more about me because I honestly feel like the only thing y'all know is that like I'm married, I'm an Air Force wife, um, I like makeup, like, you know, and I want y'all to get to know me a little bit more and I want to get to know y'all. Um, I love when y'all message me asking me questions about, you know, the Air Force and everything. So I really want y'all to um, Snapchat me, ask me on Twitter, ask me on Instagram. Um, join my Facebook group that's all about makeup if you want to. Um, all of that will be listed down below. And ask me your questions because from, I'll probably do a Q&A in September or even in August depending if I get enough questions. But um, yeah, so I will be answering those questions. And if y'all want to be in the video, then comment down below on my YouTube video. If you want to shout out Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, you can ask me there. And I will screenshot y'all's question, put it in the video. And you can ask me about military, about makeup, about me, about anything you want really. So make it interesting questions, make it funny questions. I don't really care. Just ask me questions because I really, really would love to do a Q&A video. Um, yeah, so ask me your questions and hopefully I will have a video up on, um, normally I do this first, I don't know why I started with my face cream. Anyway, but hopefully I will be doing a video come September, maybe in August, just depends when uh, I feel like I have enough questions to make a video. So I'm planning some military videos. I'm planning to do a lot of fun videos for Halloween, for um, the holidays and stuff like that because literally this is the perfect time of the year to do fun videos because there's so many holidays coming up and I don't know, I'm just really excited. I have so many like ideas. Like for my shadow series, I have so many like songs that I've been inspired by lately and yeah and i've been loving a lot of new music so my next monthly fave video might have a lot of awkward dancing and good music so i'm very excited about that i'm not the best dancer and like i don't know i feel like when i do videos i can get so awkward because like the only person that really sees like who I really am besides family is Jeffrey like and he doesn't judge me he loves me for who I am and I love him for who he is so I don't know it's just hard putting yourself out there and not like caring what people think I guess but I'm trying you know because I'm trying to live my life you only have one life so you might as well live it to the fullest and if that means making funny videos of me dancing like Taylor Swift, then I mean, might as well because what if? Um, I haven't told y'all about this yet. I've told a couple um, of y'all if y'all talk to me on Snapchat, but I haven't told like the whole world because um, like when I found out I was kind of upset 
basically Jeffrey is getting deployed and I'm gonna do concealer first Jeffrey's getting deployed and I'm really like upset about it to be honest I found out on July 20th um, and when he told me I literally cried like the whole night like cried my eyes out because it's just gonna be so weird like I mean we literally just got here in January and he's already getting deployed and there's been people in his shop that have been here for like three four you know a long 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 time like three or four years and they haven't even got deployed yet like not once so it's like why why Jeffrey you know what I mean um, but they picked him to be deployed and I'm not gonna say where he's going just yet because it could change I mean you never know with the military but I will let y'all know and I'll have more videos about that soon but I am freaking, I don't know, like, for, when I found out, I was so, like, depressed because I'm like, really, I just got my husband back. I literally just got him back in December from tech school, and we all, we've only been here for, like, seven months, maybe eight now, I can't even really remember, but, like, we literally got here in January, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know. I'm packing the concealer on today, by the way, because I'm so tired and my under eyes look disgusting. So I'm trying to like cover that up. But yeah, like, I don't know. I know it's the military, it's not Jeffrey, it's not um, them picking him on purpose, it's all at random, like they pick their name out of a bucket kind of thing, but like, still, it sucks, you know? And I'm scared. I'm scared for him because, like, deployment is a scary thing. <sighs> and I'm scared because I've never, I've never ha had to be on my own before, you know? Like, I literally have grown up with Jeffrey. Like, that sounds weird. But, like, I literally moved out of my house with someone. Like, it wasn't like I was just starting, you know, got my own place and then eventually met Jeffrey. It was... I've always had my parents with me and I've always had family and I've always like you know been sheltered and then I met Jeffrey and then we just moved in together after we were married and you know so it wasn't ever me being on my own and me being independent so that's going to be really new for me because I don't know like I am a really shy Person. I have anxiety, I'm paranoid sometimes, and when I mean about that, I mean like I watch so many like murder mystery like shows like that, and I hear stories, and I get so scared because I'm so tiny, and I'm like, oh my god, I could get kidnapped like this, like, I just think about shit like that, and it just really freaks me out, <laughs> like, it really does, so, I don't know, like going places on my own, I get anxiety, when I have to do that, um, it's not that I don't, it's just that when I go, I get anxiety. I get anxiety when I drive sometimes, especially driving like here, because I have no idea where I'm going half the time. And it's just, I don't know, it's definitely going to be hard for me. I don't know. And I'm worried about him and just, yeah, so... It sucks, and I was upset about it, but I've been praying a lot. Um, at first, I was really angry, like, I really was. And I was, like, literally, like, why does everything bad always happen to us? And, like, because literally, me and Jeffrey have the worst luck together. I don't know what it is, but we do. Like, we either have car trouble or we have freaking um, just something always happening. Like, I don't know. That's what it feels like. Even Jeffrey says it, it's like, man, we can never have, like, anything go right, it seems. So, I don't know. But I've been praying a lot, and I feel a little bit better. But I'm still, like, obviously I'm going to be, like, really upset when he's gone. Because he's my best friend, you know?
people ask, like, what are you going to do when um, he's gone? Are you going to stay? Or are you going to go back home? <clears throat> and I'm honestly not sure yet. I really want to go home. But I have two dogs. And I have a house. And, you know, you can't leave housing for, like, a long time. Or you won't have a house. <clears throat> like... You can only be gone for a certain amount of days before you have to come back. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to have to stay here. Um, because I have dogs and I don't, I've never driven that far on my own. Like, driving all the way back to Texas sounds so scary to me. Just saying, and flying, I can't do that when I got dogs, um, so, yeah. Also, I've been looking for a job, but I've been having car issues lately, because like I said, nothing can go right. Um, hopefully I'm not looking, like, blue on the screen, because like, I don't know, my camera's weird, and this lighting is not the best. But anyway, I've been looking for a job. I'm going to put a little bit more concealer. And my car hasn't been starting, so I need to get a new battery. So, yeah, that's why I'm not, like, working right now. And when I do work, I don't know how my YouTube schedule is going to go. I know I still want to make videos because this is literally, like, what makes me happy at the moment. Like, I love making videos, I love editing, I love, like, putting myself out there. And I think it's really fun. I've met so many amazing people through YouTube, so I like it. I like doing videos, but when I have a job, I may not be able to post every Wednesday, but I still want to try to at least post once a week. I would like to post maybe two times a week in the future, but, um... That just depends, because I've been having so much inspiration lately, like it's crazy. I follow all these makeup pages and I'm just like, wow, I want to do something like this or I want to do a, you know, makeup look inspired by this and like, I don't know, I'm just really excited. I can't wait. And I really want a job because I so want to go house shopping, like I haven't done my house tour video yet or my beauty room video yet because it's not even close to being where I want it and that really kind of makes me sad because I go to other people's house on base and their house is so cute and it's so decorated and like they've been here longer than us so obviously it's going to be way cuter but like I don't know every time I go to Target I'm like Jeffrey I want this he's like get a job and I'm like you're right because I need a job. I need to stop spending my money too because I'm really bad about that. I'm trying to be more like responsible when it comes to money because Jeffrey's the one that saves and I'm the one that wants to like spend every paycheck I get so it's like yeah. It's been crazy. I used to go or I used to be in cosmetology in high school and I got out ooh they are creasing they are creasing and I got out uh, my senior year because of people that were in there and I'll probably make a video about that later but not right now I don't want to talk about it um, but anyway so yeah so I may go back to cosmetology I may do pharmacy I may be a teacher I just don't know like there's so many things that I want to do so kind of excited to finally get to go to college because when you are a Air Force wife and I've learned this as I've gone um, through this whole like journey that you to be an Air Force wife you have to make sacrifices so I'm excited, like I'm ready to go to college, you know, and finally start my life. So, yeah.
I can't believe I literally have spent this long on my face, like just my face makeup, not even like my eyes or anything, like, are you kidding me? Okay, so I barely filled my brows in because normally during the week I don't do full on glam brows, so yeah, I'm actually going to be looking down for this part. Anyway, so I want to talk more about military videos because I want to know like specifically what y'all want to see. Um, I'm thinking about making a TRICARE uh, military benefit type video. So comment down below if y'all would like to see that because um, when you become an Air Force wife or a military wife in general, you don't really know like all of the benefits unless you've like done your research. And whenever me and Jeffrey were going through this, even now, to be honest, even now I still don't know everything there is to know about TRICARE, about like our insurance, about what benefits a military wife can have, you know, like a spouse as far as like college and stuff like that. So I've really been researching my options because I really want to start making dentist appointments because I need braces, like obviously I do this. Um, so I'm really excited to see what all my options are. And I would like to make a video just because I know like a lot of people that are new, especially younger couples like me and Jeffrey were, um, you don't really know all of your options. So I think that would be a cool video to make. I'm trying to hurry, like I really am. I don't want to make this a super long video, but um, I just really wanted to talk to y'all, let y'all know what's going on. It seriously was so hard for me to not just like post on Snapchat or something and just let all of y'all know that Jeffrey is being deployed because I had to tell somebody. Like I told a couple of y'all that I'm like close to and that I talk to about like military stuff because I honestly consider y'all my friends so I wanted to let y'all know but I don't know it was hard because I'm so nervous about being on my own and like having to pay bills on my own and having to, you know, take care of the house and take care of the dogs and work hopefully and not have Jeffrey with me. Like I'm so used to waking up to seeing him and like going to sleep cuddling and just like being with him. And I knew this was coming, I just didn't know it was going to be so soon, you know what I mean? Because I know, obviously, being a military wife, like, that means, like, your husband's gonna get deployed. But I just didn't think it was gonna be so sudden, like, I don't know, like, I kind of was relieved when I heard that other people had been in the shop for, like, three years and hadn't been deployed yet. And I was like, okay, so maybe Jeffrey will at least have, you know, two years or a year and a half or something. But no, like, he'll... Literally, by the time he gets deployed, he'll have been, um, like, living here for a year, but he's already been in the um, Air Force for a year. So, yeah, I don't know, it's crazy. It's really crazy. I'm not ready for it, but I have to be. One thing about being a military wife is you have to be strong, and you have to be... willing to just, you know, go with the flow. You can't, you can't expect everything to be planned out because it's not going to be at all. Like there's things that are going to happen, things they have to do for work, um, things that happen in life in general, and you just can't have everything planned out. And I know that's really hard because I'm someone that likes to have a plan. But it just doesn't always work out that way, so. I don't know, it's crazy. I'm a little nervous about it, to be honest, but. 
I'm ready. <sighs> I don't know. Like I'm, I want to be more independent and I think that going through this is going to teach me to just be more like able to be on my own and be like, be able to handle things on my own. But at the same time, I'm not ready for him to go. So, I don't know. But I will tell y'all more about um, the deployment as we get closer to him leaving. I just don't want to talk too much about it right now in case like the location changes or like the day he leaves changes or you know stuff like that because you know that's military life plans change all the time. Ugh. These lashes are always going to be jacked, like, no matter what, because I ripped them out when I was, like, in junior, no, in my junior year of high school, because I was playing around with my makeup, I was, like, practicing prom makeup, and I kept layering the shit out of my mascara. Meanwhile, it literally would not come out in the shower, because it was, like, a Maybelline mascara, it was like waterproof or whatever and it was so thick and I just kept layering it and layering it and I decided to curl my lashes with my mom's old lash curler bad bad thing to do because they literally just freaking pulled out like literally from here all the way to here we're gone there was nothing and that's literally when I learned how to apply false eyelashes um, I actually used individuals because I didn't know how to um, do the full lash band at the time. I learned with the individuals first and nobody even no like noticed like at all and people would be like, your lashes look so good today and I'm like, thanks, they're not really my lashes, but <laughs> thanks. Um, and literally, I was in cosmetology, so like you can imagine the pressure. I literally would go to school with no makeup on, get on the bus, drive all the way to Waxahachie which is where our cosmetology school was and I would go and do my makeup and put in my eyelashes individually and it was like so it was not a good time but I learned how to do false eyelashes so I guess in a way I mean it worked out in my favor but now like every time I do lashes this side's always jacked like I used to have the prettiest eyelashes like they were so long my friends said they would literally touch my eyebrows and ugh, I'm like layering the shit out of my blush today I don't know why because I never wear it this heavy is it gonna be one of them bad makeup days it just might I don't know I might blend this out I don't know but I used to have really bad makeup like I may do it um, me creating my high school makeup video I don't really know oh yeah my cheeks are gonna be pink today <laughs> cool I'm gonna blend it out with a beauty blender just a little bit so it's not so crazy then I'm gonna add a highlight and a lip color and I will pretty much be done okay so I went ahead and did my lips and the rest of my highlight off camera to kind of speed this video up a bit because it's pretty long and I'm really sorry. I was trying not to ramble, but I did anyway. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on all of my social media so you can see my life when I'm not on YouTube. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. And again, ask me your questions so that I can do a Q&A and let me know if you would like to be in the Q&A. Thank you for watching again, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, loves!